What's in a vape? They come in heaps of different shapes and sizes, but whether they're disposable or reusable, they all basically work the same sort of way. There's the mouthpiece to inhale from, and that usually activates a battery-powered heating element or coil. The liquid or vape juice is in a cartridge or soaked into something spongy or absorbent. And when it heats, the liquid turns into tiny airborne droplets or aerosols, which is what's breathed in and out. So vaping isn't actually creating vapour. Think less steam from a kettle and more hairspray, something with particles that stick around. So what's in the liquid? I talked to Dr Celine Kelso. She's a chemist at the University of Wollongong and she's focused on the same thing I am right now, finding out what's inside vapes, especially disposable ones which are often imported from overseas. We are collecting, either buying or people donate uh, vape devices that I have finished using. Then we take them apart. We extract the liquid from this particular cartridge. From that, we go to the instrumental lab to do measurements of the chemical content. We have done over 300 and we're currently doing a study to get analyzed another 750. So in total, we'll be over a thousand devices analyzed together. And what have you found? We have found that they all contain uh, the carrier fluid, propylene glycol and glycerol. They're both colourless, odourless, kind of syrupy chemicals that are good at retaining moisture. They're used a lot as food additives because they make stuff taste better, look better and stay fresher for longer which is why they're also in a lot of cosmetics, cleaning products and medicines. In vape juice, they also serve another purpose. Those two chemicals are mixed together. One gives you a harsh road that replicates a little bit the harsh road that you get when you smoke, while the other one is what produces the big white clouds. Then there are chemicals to create all the different flavours. So in chemistry, you can have different chemical compounds that create the same flavour or similar flavours, and there are hundreds of these available on the market. While propylene glycol, glycerol and the flavourings in vapes are all considered safe to consume, inhaling them could be a different story. So they're known to be safe to eat, but they have not been studied in terms of what happened to your respiratory tract and your lungs when you inhale them. So there's really, really little information about that. Dr Kelso says she also found something else that isn't usually inhaled, coolants. When you brush your teeth, that cooling feeling that you get would be what a cooling molecule does. So you get that fresh feeling when you inhale. And we suspect that it is uh, present in those devices, especially to mask a little bit the heat that's generated by the inhalation of high concentration of nicotine. Oh yeah, and nicotine. While it's a chemical that can be derived naturally from the tobacco plant, it can also be made in a lab. Either way, it's the same stuff that makes cigarettes super addictive. Within seconds of inhaling nicotine, it triggers the release of dopamine in our brains. That's a chemical which makes us feel good. And over time, our brains start to crave more and more and more. Experts say nicotine can cause serious health problems over time because it goes into our bloodstream and increases our heart rate and blood pressure. And it can be particularly bad for brains that are still developing. It is illegal for people under 18 to buy vapes in Australia. And if you're thinking, isn't it also illegal for anyone to buy nicotine vapes, then yeah, you're right. It is if you don't have a prescription. But everything, like 100% of what we have analysed so far that did not have the word nicotine written on it or did not have a specific indication of 0% of nicotine did contain nicotine in it. So wait, if you didn't catch that, every single vape they've studied that doesn't say nicotine on the label had nicotine in it. So if you think that your product that does not say nicotine on the packaging does not contain nicotine and you start vaping, then you can find yourself becoming addicted to that product because it did contain nicotine.